this is an old photo most likely taken 120 years ago of Crystal Spring Farm in Essex, New York, which was built around the 1790s. And I found this farmstead in an abandoned, wreckful state. Me and my friends, including Yaglu, the MVP of the job, fixed it up and historically preserved it. A few years have passed and I was lucky enough to be able to purchase the abandoned period horse barn, small granary, and milk house adjacent to the prop property. This is the horse barn the day after I signed the deal to purchase them and I can't wait to build up my muscles preserving them and doing all the work that's needed to be done. These buildings were full of trash, feces, crap, everything imaginable. This was apartment in the 70s has been abandoned for 20 some years. And then the original granary is so cool. It was leaning, I gotta fix that up. The original milk house had a lot of problems and, and I cannot wait to get these historically correct and preserve them like they did back in the, looked like they did back in the day. This is what the barns will start to look like after the beginning stages of restoration. Getting it back to the bones and the way it would have looked in the early 1800s. Nothing but time. Some photographs from around 1970 of the barn being connected to the carriage shed. Here's a side view with the house and look at that huge tree. That's an elm, elm tree that went down probably from Dutch elm disease back in the early 70s. Here's the back view of the buildings, the outbuildings, and here the last one is, you can see to the left, the milk house. There's my house. That's the side view of the barn. This is the back of the barn. This part's coming down. This is a new section. All these trees are going down in the next few days. All this to clear it out so we have something to work with. This is the gable end of the old L part of the barn. Rafters are falling down. Nice bird's nest on that. Some of them are good. This one ratted. This is the view from the back of the barn. You can barely see the tip of it. It's all overgrown. Now I'm going to enter into the what this barn was, and it used to be a barn, but then it was converted to a house in the 70s. In here, most people would tear it down, and it smells. I can't wait to get this all out of here. All this crap. <laughs> Look at the paneling from the 70s. The structure itself is a good structure. Once I get down to the bones and clean it, power wash it, tree growing out the back. Me and my buddy Eric Sherman took a chainsaw, some clippers, and other saws and cleared away all the decades of growth that was around the barn. And this is what we ended up with before we really started getting into tearing and cleaning. Mark Walker's here today, es excavating around the, the barns. All that was shoemat. This was all trees Go ahead. and shoemat. Mark's going to tip this over, and there it goes. Roots and all. Uh-oh, getting hung up. Now I got some work to do. Time to yank off the shitty 70s bathroom they stuck in the front. Taking a lot of stuff down, aluminum stuff off the windows. Now we're pulling this off. We put a chain, we took the roof off up here. We cut a hole there and we sawzawzed. A strip right down here, cut one. And we cut a hole through here. We put this chain and we're gonna tug it off. There he goes. Gonna pull this baby. Ah, oh, it's not strong. The holes, and put the new holes down there, and put the chain here. Try it again. See if it comes. I don't know. Oh, almost. That one log's resisting it. <laughs> Oh, almost. <laughs> well, <laughs> didn't really work. Got a new front door. New front door, he says.
<laughs> Cutting this up, all came down one piece. We took out all the shumacs and a few trees and all types of brush. So I got this one going now. This is a big, big fire bomb here. And it's starting to go good. I uh, was smart enough to remember to make a nice crib. So, because this is full of dirt and stuff, so I made a nice crib. I don't know if you can see it. The third pile is there. That's the one I'm worried about for some reason. But I built a, dug a trench around it. And actually, uh, hopefully, someone shows up and helps me. Come on, baby. Fucking chain fell down. Yeah, chain fell down. Oh, yeah. I got a mess to pick up. Oh well. We started to take down the rest of the chimney and boy am I glad we didn't. Come to find out that was the only thing that was holding up that corner of the whole barn because the post had rat. Opening up this door hasn't been opened up in a long time. I'm going up to the barn upstairs where it's really disgusting. Putting a respirator on. I hope I don't fall through the floorboards. This is a humongous amount of trash. This mattress has been sitting there for I don't know how long. I'm a little worried about walking through here and falling through the holes because I'm sure that moisture ratted a lot of the wood. But we'll see. I'm taking my chances. There's a lot of fall through there. I'm sure over there is big holes. Anywho, I don't, I don't think a mouse would even live in this stuff, or a rat, or a snake, or a bee. It's so polluted. It's going to look nice, man. Trust me. We just filled a lot of that up. This is the last of this in here. Wow. Hope this fits. And then power wash it. Woohoo! All right, ready to go at it? Say, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that's not too enthusiastic. Yeah. We just broom swept this. Got it all done. Oh, my crack of noon construction's finally coming. They're finally here. Okay, so here we go. We got this much done so far. Pandora's working, mats working, coal's working. And that's the crew over there. We did that little building there. We filled this dumpster right to the to the T. Yeah, that's what we filled. We really Went to town the last couple days and got it all the, the barn. I jacked that up today because it was looking a little can of Valero or whatever it is. Can of Valero out there. What did we got? Found a little teddy bear there. This is the fun stuff here. Yeah. Sweeping all this stuff up, right, John? Yeah. Oh boy. This respirator, I can't smile, but I'm smiling for the camera. How are you? Found some nice old horse windows here really cool ones actually yeah. horse windows I say I say horse windows this is all the metal all the copper I don't know you don't want my mask on and uh, just show all the stuff that I'm doing all oh, this is just full of, of rats and mice and oh great stuff but the beams are starting to show uh, Joyce's beam, Joyce beam. I don't know if that's a mouse or this shit is uh, probably, I don't know, porcupines or something. Gotta get all that. Kind of towards the end of uh, the whole operation for the winter. And all these studs will be coming out. We're going to get right back to those older studs. But we broom, broom cleaned it. It's gonna and, look uh, cool, man, when this is done. Be back to a horse barn, get rid of that stupid window there, that stupid window there, that stupid door, get, get rid of that stupid fireplace. And this is a lot of hard work in the last few days. Huh. The last few days, a little more than that. Oh, the favorite part of the day is when we're done and we see how good we work, man. So there's Tom's, let's see what he's got going here. Oh, a little oh, bit, man. oh yeah. Look at that. That's a. Oh, holy shit. All right, let's see the other cuff. Oh, yeah. Not as bad as one. Here, you can do my cuffs for me. <laughs> see on. how. Uh oh, I didn't work as oh, hard as man. time. Oh, oh yeah. Let's see the other one here. 
Oh yeah, we got some. We got some. Some goodness. Some goodness there. Well, it's been a long week, so we're taking it easy the rest of the day. Gonna enjoy the last two hours of nice sunshine we got. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it a lot.